G'day everyone, my name is Fancy Felix and I'm glad you're here because today we're looking at one of the biggest dust ha- ta- da- da- Alright, I could start this again, but that's not my style. Uh, uh, not my style. God damn it, I'm continuing this. We're looking at one of the biggest DOS titles ever created. Duke Nukem. One of what I like to call the trifecta of behemoths. Being the three biggest DOS games ever. Most recognizable, at least. Uh, the other ones being Commander Keen and to a lesser extent Jazz Jackrabbit. I'm sure there are other ones, but that's just my personal opinion. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Um, instructions, sure. The year is 97. Oh, yeah, 1997. Way in the future. This was developed and published, I should mention, by Apogee Software in 1991. Dr. Proton and his army of tech bots have taken control of Earth's largest city. Once a respected genius and scientist, Dr. Proton... He changed his name from Blunderwitz early in his career, that's in brackets, decided he could rule Earth with a new world order. After a terrible radiation accident that altered his brain, Dr. Proton took to the underworld, the underworld uh, and developed an army of advanced robots called TechBots. The TechBots are extremely dangerous and guard Dr. Proton's secret hideout. Every attempt by the military to overcome Dr. Proton ended in disaster. It seems Dr. Proton's plan to rule Earth is well underway. What the hell? Duke Nukem needs... Oh. Oh my god, there's too much information, too much information, but I am going to show you one very slightly interesting thing. Uh, if you notice, god damn it, if you notice on some of these pages when it refers to Duke Nukem, it's spelt N-U-K-U-M instead of N-U-K-E-M, as you would probably remember it. That is because after they initially released this game, they were notified of a Captain Planet villain with the same name, Duke Nukem. Man, I loved Captain Planet. That show was one of my favorites when I was little. But yeah, there was a Duke Nukem villain in that show, so they had to change the spelling of Duke Nukem in this, in this game. However, they later realized that they... Duke Nukem in that show wasn't a registered trademark, so Apogee quickly went and grabbed it for themselves, and future versions of this game and more in the series were spelled N-U-K-E-M. So that's your trivia for this one. Let's get into the game. Oh, there's Dr. Proton. So you're the pitiful hero they said to stop me. I, Dr. Proton, will soon rule the world. You're wrong, Proton Breath. I'll be done with you and still have time to watch Oprah. You watch Oprah? Come on, Duke, that's not very manly. I thought you were supposed to be the epitome of manliness and stuff. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so let's get right into this. I can go left, right, uh, jump, and shoot my energy blaster thing. And the objective of each level, if I remember correctly, is to get to the exit door. So it sounds pretty straightforward, but I remember I always had a lot of trouble with this game. Finding the exits and stuff. I don't know, there's something... I couldn't wrap my head around it, but maybe that's because I only got a chance to play it in small bursts at a time. Yeah, I didn't play much of this one myself as a kid. Because there was always... Oh, hang on. Secret tip, find the key that goes here and press the up arrow. Okay, let's find a key. I never got much of a chance to play this game. Uh, I always wanted to, but there's always some... Drink soda to increase your health. Okay, thank you. There was always some jackass hogging the computer at school where it was installed. It sounds crazy that kids were just allowed to hang around and play this... play this game in, like, free time and stuff. But we were. In one of our classrooms, uh... If you uh, finish your work early, because you're one of the smart kids, you'd get to go and play on the school computer, well, the classroom computer, which had uh, Wolfenstein 3D on it. Which is pretty crazy that they just let us play that, because we were like six and seven year years old. That stuff would not be allowed in a, ah, in a classroom today. And it wasn't that long ago, it was only like 96 or something. I think I gotta destroy this to get through here. 
But yeah, we were just playing Wolfenstein 3D and Duke Nukem at school, and I never got a turn. Secret tip, press the up arrow, open a door. Alright, level one complete. What does this say? Press the up arrow to read the notes. Oh, you are entering the next level. Now is a good time to save your game. How do... How do... Oh no, S turns the sound on and off. I don't know how to save. I don't want to press some button and crash the whole thing. I don't need to save anyway. Oh, I remember these weird... They look like a cross between a sea urchin and a cow udder. That's how I look at those bouncy things, and you can't kill them. Uh, so, as I was saying, like, a million times previously, I never got much of a chance to play this game, and I always wanted to. But I was not an assertive child, so I didn't get a turn. But I'm doing it now, baby! It's awesome. This is a very, very, very popular and well-loved game that is one of few series that still, well, kind of exists today. I mean, they released, finally, Duke Nukem Forever uh, one or two years ago, and that was a goddamn nightmare of a terrible piece of crap game. But uh, Duke's still a beloved character today, which is a lot more than you can say for a lot of these old uh, DOS mascots and characters. Ugh. More cow artists, get out of here. So, I think those cans are soda cans. They refill my health. I think there's one other type of item that refills my health. Might be like a chicken leg or something. But yeah, oh my god, what happened? Surprise, Duke! Oh, it's the evil guy, I gotta do the evil guy voice. Surprise, Duke! I'll be tracking your every move with my security camera system. So he's literally watching me with his- ow. Yeah, I'll show you, mother- motherfucker. How do you like it when I destroy your cameras? Wow, breakable walls, I like this. This is officially further than I ever got playing the game, I think. I got to the cow is on the second level and then it would be someone else's turn, apparently. Oh, a balloon. I think balloons are really... Oh. You have died, bringing you back to the last, the last main hallway, okay. As I was saying, I think balloons are really good, but maybe you shouldn't try and kill yourself getting to them like I did. Navigate the Udders. Udders of Doom. That's their official name. It's really not, but I'm calling them that. Like I needed to clarify that. Are they really called the Udders of Doom, Felix? I don't know if that's accurate. I don't mean to insult your intelligence, everybody. Uh, so what are these, all these point things I'm grabbing? What is that thing? I don't know what that is. It looks like, uh... You know that thing that hangs down the back of your mouth and your throat? It looks like that, but anti-gravity. I can't even remember the name of that thing, the body part. Shit. It starts with an L. I feel very ignorant right now. Do you even know what I'm talking about? I hope I'm making sense. Oh. No, I think balloons just give you a whole lot of points, so that was foolish to try and... Ah! I gotta be more careful. Mmm, soda. No name brand. Mm -hmm. Die, robots. Okay, so I think what happened last time, you shoot these packages open, they can contain a random object. That one contains dynamite and explodes and then flames go around. So you gotta avoid that. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Yeah, destroy all the walls. I hope my keyboard sounds not deafening you right now. Ugh, come on. Come on, Juke. Go through the door. Oh, why did I jump to get that balloon again? It's a force of habit, I guess. I can't really think of an efficient way to, like, dodge these things. Like, I can't duck. I guess you just gotta try and kill stuff before it kills you. Ah, what is that? Oh my god. It's like a f flame wheel on wheels. Okay, Acme... Acme block that falls down and crushes you. I need a blue key. Where do I get a blue key? This is why I always got confused playing this. I could never find the damn keys. Maybe it's up here. Better be. Yeah. I need a rapid fire button on this. I'm sick of mashing the shoot button. Uh, okay, thank you. Got me a key. Yeah. Yeah. 
<sighs> so yeah, I, I really do like this game a lot. Oh, the bonus. Bonus three. Three lots of 10,000? I don't know. On the next level, you'll need to find a special access card that looks like a computer board. Okay. I will try that. Oh my god. Helicopter, is that evil? Ah, yes it is. Stop touching me. Oh my god. Eat turkey. Yes, I was correct. There is turkey in this game. Wait, did I say chicken before? I meant turkey. Same difference. Ah, too many. Too many dynamites. Yeah. Brought down the helicopter. I have one manly man. Try and do my best. Oh, what's this? Does this do something? Secret tip. Press the up arrow to activate the transporter. You know, oh, what's this? Nuclear molecule increases your health to maximum. Thank you. I'll try to do my best uh, Jute Nukem impression because obviously he doesn't have a voice in this game, but they did later give him a voice. Man, he has one. What the hell is that? Is that a killer bunny rabbit? Die! Alright, I'm gonna give you, if you're ready for it, my Jute Nukem impression. <clears throat> I've got balls of steel. Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was the best Jute Nukem impression I think you'll hear all day. Seriously, I love the guy who does Jute Nukem's voice. You need the correct key before you can use this door. That is not a secret tip. That is painfully obvious, and I wouldn't have got this far if I hadn't learned it already. Stupid lying thing. I guess I gotta go all the way back now. This is a freaking dead end. Ugh. Come on. By the way, this is the only uh, gun you get in the whole game, as far as I know. Despite the fact that on the right there it says, like, what my gun and stuff is, I don't think it ever changes. Ah, uh, I could be wrong though, I'm no expert on this. I do believe at one point you get a grappling hook of sorts. Oh, and that thing I grabbed just there was a U. If you grab the letters that spell out Duke, I think you either get a lot of points or an extra life or something. Are there even lives in this game? I can't see any visual representation of my lives. Ah! I'm sick of those dynamites, that's just mean. Stop it. Stop it. No! Mmm, soda. Ah! More udders. More urchin udders. Udder urchins? No, uh, udders of doom. I forget what I call them already. <laughs> Damn it, where's this key? I don't know where to go! Oops. Ooh, turkey leg. If you shoot the turkey leg, it gets bigger! And that is a, a valuable life lesson. Wait a minute, this is where I was before! Oh, god damn it! I hate you, game! Ah, oh, well, I think we've had a long enough and thorough enough look at Duke Nukem. I think you get the gist of what this is, and if you already knew what it was, I think you've had enough of a quality, a, a big enough dosage of nostalgia, probably. So we're gonna end it here, ladies and gentlemen. I would always, always recommend checking out Duke Nukem. Unlike some of the DOS games I play, it is actually a genuinely great game, even though I can't figure out what the hell to do right now. Ah, it's colorful, it's pretty. It's got lots of guns and manliness and shooting and robots and everything that a young boy loves. <laughs> so hey, uh, leave me a like, uh, subscribe if you'd like, and comment on any facet of this video if you so please. Oh, I got a computer chip as... Yeah, that's the thing that the thing mentioned. Ah, the thing, yes. I got the thing. So yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.